This question is all about three nets of a cube. It says on each net draw one more dot so that each cube will have dots on opposite faces. Now we need to realise that a cube has actually got six faces and they come in pairs of opposite faces. So for example the top face is opposite to the bottom face. We've got the left face is opposite to the right face and we've got the front face is opposite to the back face. Now the easiest way of doing this one is basically going to toward the centre of each net and calling that square closest to the centre the bottom face. And then imagine the other squares around it folding up around that bottom face. So this one's quite close to the centre so I'll call this one the bottom face. And we can now see that the one on the left will be the left the one on the right will be the right. The one above that would actually, when it's folded up, be at the back of the cube. Call that BA for back. And the one here, when it's folded up, would actually end up being at the front of the cube. And that only leaves one more face, which we'll come back to in a little while. Let's see what we can fill in on the second net. So again, go to the centre. I'll call this one the over bottom. See what else we can fill in. This one would have when it's folded up would have to be the left. When this one when it's folded up would have to be the right. When folded up, this one would be the back. And when folded up, this one would be the front. Again, we've only got one square left. See if you can think about what it would be. It's a little bit harder on the final net. These two are closest to the middle, so let's just pick one and try and imagine what it would be when it's folded up. So let's say we'll pick this one and call it BA for the bottom. Okay, when this one's folded up and it's behind the bottom square, it would actually be at the back. When this one's folded up, it would be the front. Now what else can we actually do? This is where you've got to use your imagination a little bit. If this square's the back and this one folds round from the left of the back, this one must be the left hand side. Okay. These two sides here would actually end up touching. So that side would end up folding over and touching there. So that would be on the right hand side of the front of the cube. So actually this square is the right hand side. Now as you can see we've only got one square left for each net. Okay so if you look at the first net we've got left, right, front, back, bottom and the only one we haven't got is top so this one must be top. On the next net we've got left and right, front and back, bottom and the only one missing is top. On the final one we've got left and right front and back the only one we're missing is bottom and top now this is the point where we've got to go back to the original question and we've got to say well what actually are we trying to do well it says on each net draw one more dot so that each cube will have dots on opposite faces so let's just refresh our memories as to where the dots are on this net, that dot is there, okay, and that dot is on the front of the cube. We label it as the front. Well, the opposite to that is the back, so that must mean the opposite face must be there, back. On this net, the dot was there, and we have labeled it as the bottom. So the opposite of the bottom is the top, which is this dot, so that's where the dot needs to go. Down on the final net, the dot is in that bottom right corner there. And we have labelled this as the right hand side of the cube. Well, the opposite to the right is the left, which is all the way over here. Okay, because these four squares would go back, bottom, front, top. So there you have it. That's where all the dots need to go.